Hello and welcome to our new YouTube video. In this tutorial we're going to be building a nice looking button with some cool effects. This little project will be created based on HTML and CSS, so it would be better if you have some basic knowledge in those technologies. If you don't feel quite confident in CSS then I would recommend our Udemy courses about CSS, which you can check out from the links in the description. Ok, so here we have a single button on the page. It has some content and once we hover over it then the content will be changed with some nice effect. So that's it what we're going to build. I hope it will be interesting so let's get started. In VS Code I have two different files index.html and style.css. Inside HTML file I have prepared the basic HTML structure. In the head element I have two different links. One for Google font and the second one for style.css file. You are able to download the starter files from the link in the description. Ok, let's go ahead and first of all create HTML markup. Let's open development, which is going to be a wrapper, so assign to it class btn wrapper. Then inside of it create button with class name btn. So as the content of the button I'm going to insert here two different span elements because as you remember we will change those contents when we hover over the button. So open span elements with class name btn text 1. And insert here some text. Let's say explore more. Then duplicate it. Change class name. Instead of 1 write 2. And also change the content. Right, it's interesting. Alright, that's it about HTML markup. Now it's time to write some CSS. So let's go to the style.css file. First of all, I'm going to create some common styles. Select all the elements using an asterisk and set margin and padding as zero. Also, I'm going to change the font family for every element. Let's use here Josephine Sans, Sans Serif. All right, next I'm going to change background color of the body element. So let's select it and assign to it background color CFDEE0. Now I'm going to define width and height for BTN wrapper. Actually, it will take up the entire page, so let's assign to it width and set it as 100%. As for the height, I'm going to set it as 100% of the viewport. All right. So next, let's place button in the center of the page. And I'm going to do that using positions and transform translate. Let's select button, set its position as absolute. Then I'm going to move it from top to bottom by 50%. So let's set top position as 50% and also move it from left to right by 50% as well. Finally, in order to center button perfectly, we need to use transform translate. And we have to pass here minus 50% and then again minus 50%. Alright, so once the button is centered perfectly on the page, I'm going to customize it. Let's define its width and height. Set width as 250 pixels. As for the height, let's assign to it 70 pixels. Then change background. In this case, I'm going to use a linear gradient with three different colors. And also I'm going to change the direction of color transition. We will use from bottom to top. And then insert here three different colors. First one is going to be 0, 0, 1, 5, 4, C. Next one should be 1, 2, 3, 7, 6, E. And as the last one, Write 23487F. Alright, so the background color is changed. Let's change the color of text as well. Make it white. Also, I'm going to make a button around it using border radius with the value 50 pixels. Then get rid of the default border. Besides that, I'm going to get rid of the default outline because when we click the button, then the blue line is appearing. So let's set outline as none. 
Also change the type of cursor, make it pointer. And finally create some shadow effect. Use box shadow with the values 0, 15 pixels, 30 pixels. And as the color write RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0.5. Alright, so for now that's it about the button, it's already looking good and now we have to take care of its content. So let's select Spine Element, at first increase font size, make it 18 pixels, then transform the text into uppercase, and create some space between letters using letter spacing with the value 1 pixel. Alright, so now it's time to create the hover effect, but before that I'm going to position spine elements. At first I'm going to work on the first one, let's select it, and set its position as absolute. For now I want to hide the second spine element in order to make our working process more convenient, so let's select it, and assign to it display none. Alright, let's define the width of the first span element and make it 100%. And then place it in the center of the button. For that we need top position with the value 50%. Then we need left, 0. And now in order to center element perfectly we have to use again transform but in this case translate with the y direction and with the value minus 50%. Alright, that's it about the first span elements. Now I'm going to define a position for the second one. By default I'm going to place it down below the button and then on hover we'll move it up and display it as the content of the button. So let's get rid of display none from here Actually, we need to use similar properties for the second span element as well, so I'm going to copy those properties from here and paste them for the second span. As you see, both span elements take up the same place, but we don't need it. As I said, I'm going to place the second span down below the button, and for that let's change the value for the top position and make it 150%. Alright. So everything is ready, it's time to create a hover effect. So on hover I'm going to move up the first text, I mean it should be hidden. As for the second span, we'll move it up as well and display as the content of the button. So let's select the button with hover, then select the first span element. So I'm going to move up the first span element by 100%, so we need to set top position as minus 100%. So if I hover over the button then the text will be moved up. Now we have to move the second span as well. Actually let's duplicate this code. Change the class name. We need here 2. As for the top position we need to set it as 50%. So if I hover over the button then we will already get the needed result. Now we have just to customize this effect. I mean, I'm going to add to it some transition with values top and 0.2 seconds. Now the effect is looking much better and the only thing that we have to do is to hide the text while they are outside of the button. For that I'm going to use overflow hidden. Alright, now everything works fine and actually with this little project we are done. I hope it was interesting and you enjoyed it. If you like this video then please thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified on every new tutorial. Ok, see you in the next video.